Why you got wedge brakes? Nobody carries wedge brakes. This is one of the old wedge style brake cans off the front steer axle. Finding parts for this thing is getting harder and harder and harder. I keep telling you guys this, you don't understand. I bought two brake cans I thought were the exact same as this and they're not, they're like twice the size of this. And so, and that's what Google told me I bought last time, which I know that's not what I bought. So we're gonna try and take this apart and change just the uh, the rubber thing. Maybe we're gonna try something. We're gonna yeah. try something. Mm -hmm. We better try. We're gonna try. Okay. Mm -hmm. This morning has gotten off to kind of a rough start. And it's singing. Package on the doorstep was nice, and then found out it was the wrong size. And it's singing too. Yeah, it is sunny. Mm -hmm. That's a good plus, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh huh? Oh, duh. Hope we have a battery in. There you go. You almost got it. on the other side of this. Oh, that's where it blew. See that right there? It was leaking past that when this gets pushed in. Yeah, it cracked it. It cracked it? Well, there is a part number on here though, so type 12. Rockwell brake cans. Type 12, I'm guessing. Okay, I'm gonna call up Cascade Friction and see if they have any type 12. I I doubt it, but let's just call them and see what happens. This is where I normally get all my brake stuff from these guys. Okay. Cascade Friction. Uh, how's it going? Good. Um, I'm calling to see if you guys have any uh, their wedge style air brake cans, type 12. What are you doing with wedge brakes? <laughs> it's on my dump truck. <laughs> Holy God. Uh, well, I got a part yeah. number if it helps. What part number do you have? It says 7692-7. They're Rockwell. That... Yeah, that's not a that's not a good Rockwell number. 7 7692-7. Yep, that's what it says on this uh rubber on thing. Can? That's what it says on the rubber uh disc inside the can. Yeah, well well, if I mean, if you have just a diaphragm, that works for me, probably. Yeah, you don't want to replace. Yeah, I got those. Okay. Um. All right, I'll just bring the whole thing, and then uh, it, you can you know more about brakes than me. You can tell me if I need something else or what. All right, thanks, all Pete. I know is nobody. All I know is nobody's got wedge brakes anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I know that. I know. I know. The last time I bought... Yeah. Okay. All right. All We're right. good. Bye. Bye. Roger, it says I have some of it. Okay. Looks like we're going to Cascade Friction. Okay. They said they got these. So hopefully they got these. Uh-huh. <laughs> hopefully they got them. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, you guys heard it from the horse's mouth. That's it right there. Why you got wedge brakes? Nobody carries wedge brakes. All I know is nobody's got wedge brakes anymore. <laughs>
See, this is the kind of stuff that you guys don't understand, right? And then, so the only way around that, here's the only way around it, right? If I wanted to keep this truck working, I'd have to replace the whole front axle with a new front axle that has all updated stuff. And then I could get parts for just the axle, right? Luckily, I got some good help out there. A lot of you guys that help me out, man. You guys know your stuff. And so. I hope you too, Dad. Yes, you do. You help me too. You got me. Good luck. Here, high five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We will do some work. These are a lifesaver, mm -hmm. Justin. Mm -hmm. Made in Spain. They're called Grip On. One three nine ten. It's orange. These air cans. This is a half inch. Get these off. There you go. What we had to do was, uh, it got stuck, so we had to. We were backing it off. It wouldn't go, so we tightened it back up and then backed it off again. Uh oh. Dang it. What? My leaf springs broke. Ew. You see it? Mm -hmm. Right here. Broken. Mm hmm. Now, now you get a new one. Yeah, we gotta get a new one of those. Uh huh. It's a better, big job. We better take it off. And put a new one on. And we gotta work all day Monday. With Koopa. Or all day, all week, all next week too. With Koopa. Koopa needs to help us, us too. Huh? Koopa needs to help us. We uh. Dang it! There goes a lot of my money I just made. There we go. Done. Done. Done deal. Done deal. Hey, you want to grab that? So. Sure. That socket that just fell down there? Yeah, so. Sure. Sure. Yeah, it would have been easier from the other side. We'll grab it from the other side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, or grab it from right there. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. I can't grab it right here. Easy. Well, guys, look what we just found. We just found out that leaf spring is broken. You can see it, it's separated. So, at least it's only one. Let's see what we got on this side. Nothing on this side. This side still looks decent. But we're going to have to call Get Spring and Auburn and see what they charge for these. And then uh, we might have to schedule it for Friday if they can get it done Friday. So at least we've seen it now. It's going to cost us some money though, so that sucks. Yep. 
That's a repair that's a little over my head, I think. So, I mean, I could probably do it, but it's just easier to pay somebody to do that one. So that's what we're gonna end up doing. All right, later.